All right, let's get started practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below so that you can follow along. Today we are going to be working through um, add an account to the chart of accounts. That is found in section one, lesson five of our Fast and Easy QBO certification course. You can find out more information about that as well. So let's walk through the exercise. As always, we're gonna start in the sample company. So here I am in my uh, QBO A account, and I'm just gonna to go to the sample company. If you don't know how to get your free QBO A account, of course, information is down in the link below as well. While that's loading, we're gonna go on to our scenario. So the scenario for this exercise is, Craig is investing in some new equipment for his landscaping business and needs to add a new account to keep track of how much his equipment is worth, okay? so. Step one is from the left navigation bar, we're gonna select accounting and then click chart of accounts. So here we're gonna to go to accounting then select chart of accounts. Because this is the first time I'm entering the chart of accounts in the sample company, I'm gonna have kind of this interim screen. You won't see that in your real account. I'm just clicking see your chart of accounts. I'm gonna go back to the exercise. This is what we did right here. Now on to step two in the upper right hand corner, click the green new button, not the arrow next to it. So back in our sample company, I'm gonna hit the green new button, not the little arrow next to it. We'll do that in a future exercise. All right, so from here, let's go back to our exercise and read what to do next. So we're gonna click the assets button. Remember in our scenario, this is an assets account. And from the save account under dropdown, we're gonna select fixed assets. So let's just do that much, okay? So assets, and then we're going to click fixed assets right here. Okay, going back to our exercise, step five, from the tax form section dropdown, we're gonna select fixed asset, other tools, equipment, and then for the account name, we're going to call it power tools. And then of course we'll click save. Okay, so tax form selection is fixed asset, other tools, equipment. We're gonna call it power tools. and then we're going to click save. Before I do that, just so you can see this little new account preview, let's see if I can make it a little bit better for you. This new account preview just kind of tells you where in the chart of accounts this is going to show up. So here under fixed assets is our power tools. So I'm just gonna click save and you've just created your first account in the chart of accounts. So let me go back to the exercise. Notice that it uh, we have a big note here to kind of learn what you're seeing in the chart of accounts. So we have the account name is the first column. The second column is the account type, which is what we selected under save account under. And then um, that third column is called detail type, and that's from the tax form selection that we selected. So let's go back to our chart of accounts and you can see that here is the account that we just created. So power tools was the name, the type was fixed assets, the detail type, which is the tax form section, um, which just provides additional information about that particular account um, is what we selected. All right, next up, we're gonna be talking about how to add account numbers to the chart of accounts. We'll see you there.